in sight. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time has been a Window. As you guys know, recently I've been playing more and more Valorant. And of course, I sound like this because I recently got incredibly sick. But don't worry guys, it wasn't COVID. Now, I wouldn't say Valorant is a perfect game, but as I continue to play it, I seem to enjoy it more and more. Yes, the skills and ability can seem to overwhelm gameplay, but let's be honest, in CSGO, the utility can do just the same if you're playing against a good enough team. So while I wouldn't say Valorant is a perfect game, I must admit I am having a lot of fun with it, especially when we play this map. Bye. As of right now, this is my favorite map in the game. Who knows, it might even become my D-Dust 2 of Valorant. But as for now, I still got a long way to go on it to get to that level. Now, I just got a rank right before this game started, and I am only Platinum 2, so I still have a lot of improvement to do. Still in sight. Sounds like they're coming, eh? Stealing sight. Guys, One enemy remaining. What the? Now you'll notice I'm not talking, and that's because on the day that I played this, I had completely lost my voice. In hindsight, it's probably best not to be playing competitive games when I can't communicate with my teammate. You can put a camera in hookah. Yeah, there's a few. One out. Oh, yeah, uh, one long. Enemy long. Bomb. One enemy remaining. Last and who goes? Please reload me right now. Still At some point, I really mean to take a break from Counter-Strike and just try to grind this game really hard to see if I can actually get good at it. But for right now, I find it difficult to transfer from one game to the other, mainly because of how different Counter-Strike Global Offensive's movement is. Still in sight. Now, I know I got too aggressive right there, but I was kind of feeling it after getting those first three kills. Thought I could just kind of run over the other team. Satchel out. One enemy Get remaining. Here. Nice job. Wow, what a close call. As you can see, all of my teammates went down to the last two guys on the other team. And that meant the dank line here had to win a 1v2 clutch just to save the round. Finished. Two more short. One enemy remaining. Last one short. Now, as you can see, because of the movement in this game, I'm not so worried about people jiggle peeking stuff. So because of that, I was just able to come out and shoot this guy, even though he could see me right through the wall. I really think that this slower movement is going to benefit a player that relies so much on the reaction time like I do. One TP Dow, I think bomb. One enemy remaining. Bomb TP Reloading. back. Spike planted. Now, right now, I'm still trying to learn when best to use the heal and when best to use the movement ability. But the embarrassing is, sometimes I accidentally use the movement ability thinking it's going to make me invisible. And I'm sure in moments like that, the other team just stares at me like I'm a dumbass. Elbow. Uh, so here's another situation where being able to communicate would really help me. Last player standing. Yeah, I just assumed my teammates would hold the angle since they were closer to that wall and I could hold the other way out. But I guess because I couldn't communicate with them and tell them what to do, they just decided to watch the diffuser instead. Talk about a stupid way to throw away a round. <laughs> Spotted. Cover going 
Two and hookah. Spike planted. As you can see, this team is doing a lot of redirects. And usually I'd be able to deal with that a lot better, but as you guys know, since I'm sick, I'm not exactly feeling the best this game. Thrifty. And I believe you're particularly able to see that most in the clutch situation. Since because I do have a bad heart and I'm feeling so sick, I'm really trying to keep myself as calm as possible so I don't have a heart attack. Standing. One enemy remaining. <sighs> Last was on A. Yeah, let's do that. Get up. Yeah, yeah, I know, not my finest moment. But the problem is, even under this stressful of a situation, I started to get ventricular tachycardia. It was a really bad idea to play today. So I bet you're asking yourself, why the hell did I decide to play then? Well, that's because the new Valorant update just added reflex low latency mode by NVIDIA. Now, as you guys know from my previous videos, I was very interested when NVIDIA's ultra low latency mode came out about a year ago. But there were some major downsides to it. One of those being, unless you were completely maxing out your GPU above something like 97% you'd actually get more latency. This means that even though you were getting the next queued frame instead of having to have one frame queued you'd actually see what was going on a little bit later than someone that was using one frame queued. This would give you a little bit of a disadvantage and actually gave you a slight feeling that your mouse input was slightly lagging behind. For me this was mostly noticeable when using an AWP. Now reflex the latency mode is supposed to have solved that problem. Basically now in Valorant there are three different settings. There's reflex the latency mode on, reflex the latency mode plus boost and reflex the latency mode off. Now obviously off will make it feel like it felt just before, but on actually seems to be a significant improvement, or at least it felt like it because of how responsive it was just when I would fire the gun. So for example, it felt like right as I clicked the mouse, the bullet actually came out. This caught me by surprise with how quickly I saw the animation and heard the sound. Meanwhile, turning it off, I feel like it's noticeable how much longer it delays the shot. But I'm not entirely sure what's causing this, and because of the tests here that Battle Nonsense did, you can see he was testing at a 99% GPU load. Meanwhile, I'm just going off a of feel because I don't have a 1000 FPS camera and light up LED when I click. If someone wants to donate one, I'd gladly do these tests in depth. But as you can see from his tests at least, it is a significant improvement when at 99% GPU load. But again, this is for a GPU bound game and not a CPU bound game like Counter-Strike Global Offensive or Valorant. Those games are really not very graphic intensive and your GPU is gonna be running at a very low percentage. There is one more thing I wanna talk about and that is reflex low latency mode on and reflex low latency mode plus boost. Basically boost is supposed to get rid of any power saving features that would slow down your GPU. Now I'm told you get the same results by switching your power management mode to prefer maximum performance in your NVIDIA drivers. All right, so back to the game. Now, after back-to-back -back failed clutch rounds, my heart really was messing up pretty badly, so I took a little break from the game, which is why you can see it says that I'm inactive. Again, it was a pretty bad idea for me to try to play a game while I was this sick, mainly just because of how bad my heart condition is. But not wanting to screw over everyone in the competitive game, I eventually found my way back. Bathroom. What do you do? Thirty now, seconds. coming. One enemy remaining. Bomb down long. Bomb one long. Got one. Last player standing. Joke's over! You're dead! 
And with that, the score was all tied up 6-6. Six to six. Now, honestly, I felt like I could walk over the other team here, but the truth was I was just feeling too sick to give it my all. So instead of risking going into cardiac arrest once again, I decided I'd probably be better off just trying to back up my team for the rest of the game. I know, don't get it wrong, I realize I committed to a competitive game, but at some point, my health's gotta come first. You all... Oh my god. Last player standing. Yeah, my older brother is a TikTok, like, dedicated to Fortnite Ooh. stuff. 30 seconds left. One enemy remaining. Good try, try Goosey. Hey, welcome. Who's traveling? Last player standing. As you can see, we are just getting absolutely annihilated now. We're in the smoke elbow. Nice. Fucking worker. What's that call? In sight. Damn, I really thought we had that round, and I think that was all I had left in the tank. I imagine this is what a pro athlete feels like when he gets too old to play. Mentally, I feel like I can still do it, but physically, the body's just not performing well enough. Service back hall. One enemy remaining. <sighs> Last is long. 30 seconds left. Last player standing. Nice. Good job. Yikes. Ceiling sight. One enemy remaining. We have A. He's back side. Long. Nice. Save my family. Now, as you can see, we do seem to be having a lot of success over there at the B site. Oh my god, where is this guy at? Last player standing. Yeah, yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. That was just really bad. Now, I'm not entirely sure why that made it so the entire team wanted to change up the game plan and start hitting that A site. In my opinion, this was a major overreaction and we should have kept doing what was working. He has an op, sure. God. Enemy kill. Oh, I'm gonna go get bombed, John. Remaining. I got the spike. Hey, Stony. Thanks for coming. No plan over here. Oh. Nice. Last player standing. Oh. I whiffed. Cutting their vision. Another clutch and another fail, and honestly, I just can't put my all into it right now because I really don't want to get my heart rate up. Though this is an incredibly important round, and losing this round probably will cost us the game. One was coming. Last player standing. Oh. Yep, definitely a gold player. Yeah, they. Yep, he's down. As you can see there, I unscoped the gun and then scoped the gun to peek out like I would in CSGO because of the movement. If I had stayed scoped in like you can do in Valorant, I probably would have gotten that kill, but in CSGO if you stay scoped in, you just lose movement speed. 
I personally prefer the way they do it in Valorant, especially because I played CS Source and 1.6 and you never had that reduced movement speed price. Thirty seconds left. Spike planted. Last player standing. Enough. And with that, we had lost the game. And should I really be surprised? Because honestly, it was a really bad idea for me to be playing, being as sick as I was. That being said, I am overall very impressed with Reflex Low Latency Mode. The mouse input feels more responsive. Clicking your mouse feels like the shots come out more quickly. Overall, the game just feels better for some reason. But until someone actually is able to use a 1000 FPS camera or some other means to actually test this game with it on, I can't say it isn't completely placebo. So I'd love it if you guys had watched this video could test it out for yourselves. Turn it off, turn it on, and let me know if you guys notice that it feels instantly more responsive. Also, Valve, please update your freaking game with this. If it is really lowering the system latencies as much as the test showed, then as the face of competitive FPS games, you really need to implement this. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, have a great day.